Hi everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I'm back with a quick haul that I got from Archivers. Went with a friend to Indy and uh, bought a few things, and so I thought I would show you what I got. Um, I also got, oh gosh, a couple things from Hobby Lobby that I was going to show you, and also something from Meyer that I thought was kind of cool. I don't know if you guys will be able to find them, but I thought I would give you a look. Um, to start out with, um, at Archivers, I got some paper, and I'm really in the mood, you guys. I am completely and utterly a sucker for cutesy Halloween. So, um, I was after, actually, either Mischievous or October 31st, um, for sure, because I, I had decided I wanted one of those, and I was going to get whichever one that I liked better in person, and, and if they, you know, whichever one they had, and then, um... I found a couple of other things. So um, these first couple are from the Nightfall collection, and um, this is American Crafts, and these are just these cute little, I don't know if the, with the glare if you can see those, just these really cute little ghosts. And I don't, you probably can't see in the picture, but they've got some texture on them. And then that's the back, which is a really cool kind of blue color. And then this one, and these, like, like I said, these were the only two of this, um, paper that they had that I saw or that they had left so I got this and it just has a um, kind of a grid it's it's kind of got a grid on it but it's real subtle it almost looks like marble if you can see that or not but um, anyway one thing I'm loving you guys with these Halloween collections is the blue um, the addition of blue and um, I really like the blue in the nightfall it's like a really light kind of sky blue um, and it's just really pretty, and I would like to get some more of this, but um, that was all that they had. So, oh, and this is actually the fabric paper from Amy Tangerine. Um, I got a couple things to kind of augment my Amy Tangerine um, stuff that I got before. When I first bought their her paper, they didn't have um, very many of the um, embellishments, so they had a few more, so I just went ahead and got this, and I also got the, um, the Remarks sticker pack, which I'll show you in a second. And then I opted, as you could see in the beginning of my video, I had the stickers for um, October 31st, and I opted for this one. I love the mischievous line, too. Um, it does not have, this is more of a teal blue, where in the um, in the mischievous line, it's more of like a robin's egg blue. It's even darker than the nightfall blue, and I really, really, really liked it, but I thought I ended up getting this one um, mostly because I... Um, a lot of my other collections, Halloween collections, do have the purple and the green, and I thought that this probably would mix and match better with what I already had. So that was really the only reason I chose this one over that one, and I may, maybe after Halloween, I will get a few sheets of that because it is so cute. Um, but anyway, this is the, again, you guys have probably all seen this paper. This is the, the um, cards, and there's some more of that, um, that really pretty teal. And then I got, I don't think I got every sheet. I don't think they had every sheet of it, but um, there's the pretty stripe. And then this one. Not all the pages have blue in them. And then this one has more of like a scene on it. And then a distressed kind of reddish orange. And then I love this polka dot. And again, I thought this, um, the green and the purple, again, would mix and match with some things that I already have a little bit better than the other one. So that was really the only determining factor. Here's the Harlequin. And that's just got a distressed, kind of green distressed swirl. Um, there's a lot of this teal in this collection. So there's that. And then a black and gray Harlequin. And then this really cool pattern. And then some more black and gray. So that was all that I got from October 31st. And let's see. Let me show you what else I got. Um, I didn't go too crazy. But I did get, there's the um, Amy Tangerine Remarks that um, I had wanted. And they had those this time. 
And then I also got, I had a coupon for 30% off one item, and I went ahead and got myself the So Easy. And um, this, and then I got one of the other heads, which is the cross stitch head. So, and I really wanted the, um, just the zigzag head, but they didn't have it. So um, I just got, you know, the one it came with, and then this one for now, and then um, I'll see how I like it. And um, then I will probably get some more. So I got that, and they also had a pretty cute make and take going on. So if you have an archivist near you, um, this was a little make and take, free make and take they had. And um, it's really cute. It's, I'm not really sure what this paper is. They are, it had it all cut. Um, but this is the Martha Stewart Anywhere Punch. And then um, I used also the Martha Stewart um, little fringe scissors to give the pumpkin some little bangs. And it's just a little treat box. So, and this is double sided paper. So, it's really cute. It needs a little bit more glue. But um, anyway, I thought it was cute and it was fun to make. So, if you have an archivers, this is going on this week. And then, um, oh gosh, at Hobby Lobby, I didn't really get a whole lot. I did get, I did find um, the snow marker. And if you watch Craft and Kate, she has done some cool things with this and kind of showed how to use it. And I decided I needed one to play with. So I got that. And at Walmart, I got some of those little 97 cent cards and a couple of. Um, the little thank you or the little stamps that I think look like the Allie Edwards ones. Her um, this writing looks kind of like her handwriting, I think. So I just got a couple of those, and then um, the a thing I found at Meyer that I thought was really fun. Now these were on clearance, you guys. So I don't know if you're going to be able to find these or not. But these were originally um, like $14.99. And they had them reduced, they've been down to ten ninety nine, and then they were like down to 90% off. So this was a dollar. And it's really heavy duty um, mesh. And my last name starts with R. So, and they had, all they had left were, they had some, in my store they had D's, T's, R's, and U's, I think. But I thought this would be something really fun to alter. So I got, actually got one for me and I got one for my daughter. And um, I'm going to try to alter the one for us and put it on our mantle. I have different R's around our house. And so I may um, try to alter this one. But I'm going to give one to my daughter. I think it would be, because of this mesh, would be also a cool thing to hang, like, charms on or earrings or jewelry, like jewelry and stuff like that. And it's really, it's really heavy duty. It's 10, 10 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter um, is the size of it. And uh, it's black. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So um, if you have a Meyer store, you might check out their clearance um, area and see if maybe they have some letters that you guys could use for a dollar. So anyway, that's all I have for now. I hope to have um, a couple scrapbook layouts to show you here um, within the next week or so. And um, I'm on vacation for another, oh, I've got another 10 days or so. So no, it's a staycation actually. Um, so we've got that. Um, I'm just kind of home doing some projects and kind of winterizing the house in the yard and that sort of thing. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.